Hi everyone, my YouTube channel got hacked two weeks ago and I wanted to make a little video for you to know what happened, uh, what's the impact on my channel and how we can protect ourselves from this type of hack. It was uh, two weeks ago, on Tuesday 4th of May at 3 a.m. I was sleeping and a hacker went into my channel, changed its title and thumbnail to Binance Capital he then launched a live stream that ran for around 2 or 3 hours before YouTube uh, banned my channel for not following their community guidelines. So I woke up the same morning after the breach happened. I saw your messages on my phone saying what's happening with your channel. So I quickly went onto my channel and it wasn't anymore. I didn't receive any message or email of suspicious activities on my account and there were no sign of anyone logging into my Google or YouTube account. I've always used strong and unique password for my accounts and I've also always activated the two-step authentication on all of my accounts. So what happened? I did some research and I found out that a hacker doesn't need actually your password in order to breach into your account. He can bypass your password and two-step authentication simply by stealing your session cookies. So if I have access now to my email and YouTube channel, the hacker with the stolen cookies has the same access. And he can basically do anything he wants without leaving any trace. And I suspect my cookies were stolen using a scam email. Two weeks before this event, I received a sponsorship email from a company. It's not the first time I'm receiving sponsorship emails and I did a few sponsorships in the past and it always went very well. The mail I received looked very professional, it was well written, it was about a real product targeted to musicians and uh, the website looked very clean, even the email domain address was looking real. So after a few exchanges they sent me a media kit which is very common uh, when you're doing a sponsorship. It's basically a file where you have uh, logos and presentation of the product, stuff like this, so that you can um, present the product in a video. I checked every email's links and files through three antiviruses and one anti-malware. None of them detected anything suspicious. Still, I do suspect this e email to be a scam because even though the media kit they sent me looked very well done, there were inside three videos to demonstrate how I could promote their product. One of the videos didn't open. So this is very suspicious. So after my channel got hacked and banned from YouTube, I quickly contacted YouTube. Luckily, they were very responsive. After a single week, they could investigate on the breach and they could restore my channel. However, there were still some negative impacts on my channel. Among them is uh, I lost a few subscribers, like 300 subscribers. As well, during the investigation, YouTube had to pull away my videos from their recommendation systems. And after they put back my videos in the recommendation system, the YouTube algorithm has to relearn what kind of audience my videos are for. Therefore, my videos has been recommended by YouTube half as much as before. And this recommendation has even been declining for the first few days. So if you like my music and videos, please feel free to search for my videos on YouTube or listen to my music in the playlist for the coming days or weeks. This would really help the YouTube algorithm to know what kind of audience likes my videos and help the recommendation system to be back up. I, I also had to format both of my computers in order to be sure that there were no more viruses or malwares. And I also had to change my 600 passwords by stealing my cookies the hackers probably had access to all of my passwords because my Chrome browser was always synchronized in between different computers. So I've learned a few things from this event uh, in order to protect myself from those kind of attacks. What you can do as well to be safer is avoid synchronizing your Google account between browsers 
antiviruses may not detect a virus or malware even if a file or link is infected. What I'm doing now is that I'm using a software called Sandboxy which basically uh, let me open my business email into sandboxes. So if I open a virus in this sandbox, it won't be able to go out of this sandbox. And finally, what I should have done before is to log out from my account because it expires the cookie so that the hacker wouldn't have had access to my account uh, two weeks later. I hope you learned a few things from this video. Um, I was very exhausted during the week of the hack as I couldn't sleep anymore. Now I feel better, I could reinstall all the softwares I need to create music and videos. So I'll be back into music and see you soon for the next music videos. Bye bye!